Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 7 which is all about speed and velocity. This will be the third quarter topic and learning competency number 6. This lesson is under the Matatag For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to First is to define the term speed and velocity and distinguish between the two concepts The second one is to perform experiments to investigate the factors that influence the object's speed and velocity And the third one is to appreciate the importance of understanding the speed and velocity in everyday life by answering the reflection of learning. In activating the prior knowledge for the short review, the students will answer the true or false activity. So they are going to write T if the statement is true and F if the statement is false. Speed is a measure of how fast something is moving. It is the rate at which distance is covered. The word rate is a clue that something is being divided by time. So speed is defined as the distance covered per unit time. So speed is also a scalar quantity. Whereas the word velocity is a vector quantity. It describes how fast and in which the speed plus direction an object is moving. It can be negative or positive depending on the direction of the motion. Speed is the rate of distance covered at the given time. So the formula of speed is equal to distance divided by that time. We can express the speed in terms of miles per hour, kilometers per hour, or meters per second. Let us solve the following problem. John and Mary were given assignments to record the measured distance and time spent in walking from their home to the school. John's home is 400 meters while Mary is 200 meters away from the school and it took 400 seconds for John while Mary needed 200 seconds to reach the school. The first question is, compare how fast John walked than Mary. The second question is, what is the basis of your answer in number one? So let us solve for Mary's speed. So the given is D is equal to 200 meters and T is equal to 200 seconds. So what is asked in the problem? It is the speed. So for the formula of speed is equal to distance divided by the time. So V is equal to D divided by the time. V is equal to 200 meter divided by 200 seconds so the answer for mare speed is one meter per second so john and mary have the same speed of one meter per second so therefore john is as fast as mary 
When the direction is associated with speed, it refers to the quantity known as velocity. Thus, velocity is a speed in a given direction. Since velocity has direction, it uses displacement instead of distance. As shown in figure 7a, the total distance from home to school is 3 km while the displacement is 2 km east as shown in figure 7b. Suppose you take 0 0.5 hour to travel from home to school, use the information in 7a and 7b to solve for the average speed and velocity. To solve for the average speed, so let us use the formula, which is the speed is equal to distance divided by the time. So the given on this problem is distance, which is equal to 3.0 kilometer, and t is 0.5 hour. By using the formula, so v is equal to d divided by the time, so let us substitute d that is 3.0 kilometer divided by the 0.5 hour. So the velocity, the average speed is equal to 6 kilometer per hour. Now let us solve for the average velocity. So for the formula, average velocity is equal to displacement divided by the time. So the given on this problem is distance is equal to 2 kilometer and time is 0.5 hour. So for the solution, so V is equal to D divided by the T or V is equal to 2.0 kilometer east divided by 0 0.5 hour. So the velocity, average velocity is equal to 4 kilometer per hour east.